Canada. While the pandemic has drastically impacted many industries in Canada, real estate is not one of them. According to the Canadian Real Estate Association's MLS system, the average national price stands at just over $716,000. This is a 31.6% increase in one year, the biggest annual gain on record. These prices haven't curbed the demand either. What I'm seeing is that buyers are leaving the core areas like Toronto and heading out to suburbs and even further for lifestyle, larger lots and getting more bank for their buck in housing. While the increase in pricing may stop some buyers in their tracks, here are three reasons why you should be buying now. Number one, prices are not going lower. The average price for a house in Ontario in 2022 is forecasted to be approximately $942,300. According to CREA, the actual, not seasonally adjusted national average sale price posted a 13.9% year-over-year gain in September. If we continue with this gain into spring and summer of 2022, your buying power will decrease. For example, say you were approved for a mortgage of about 700,000 this year. By spring of 2022, you'll potentially have $100,000 less to spend. Number two, mortgage rates are at the lowest they have ever been. While nobody has that crystal ball, of course, future rate hikes are expected from the Bank of Canada in late 2022. If this happens again, your buying power, example, your budget will be less next year. The house you can afford today may be out of reach tomorrow. Number three, the cost of inflation is going up and up. Not only for houses, but if you checked out the price of food, gasoline, heating, cars, etc. The problem we have is when inflation drives prices up, it's like having a tax on your income. Simply said, with the current inflation rate, your $100,000 income may be worth $95,000 a year from now, etc. Which means, again, what you could afford for a home this year will be more than what you could afford for a home next year. Have you been to the grocery store lately? I just came back today and I was surprised at what I ended up paying for some staple items like vegetables and milk. So with that being said, while purchasing today may mean moving further away or compromising on what you want as a buyer, the cost of waiting is so substantial, it's better to transact now. Even if prices were to go down, because we all know that pendulum does swing, it seems highly unlikely that a house priced at $900,000 today would drop over $100,000 in price over the next year. This is why we should have a conversation today.